a little windy here in the metro today. Yeah, winds gusting close to 30 miles per hour even at this hour. Wind gust of 29 right now, 28 in Las Vegas, 30 in Raton. All the strong gusty winds today thanks to a storm system that continues to spin off to our west. Farmington was one of the locations today that got hit hard by some heavy rain earlier this morning into the afternoon hours, picking up more than an inch of rain and they only picked up a little bit more than an inch in the months of summer. So definitely picking up a lot of rain in just a short period of time earlier today. But here in the metro, just seeing a few clouds out there right now. All the shower activity has missed us, but we did have some storms off to our west around Grants and Crown Point, some light spotty showers and then some action around the northern mountains. All this activity is pushing from the south to the north, so it's pretty spotty in nature, but there's still a slight chance for a few isolated storms to dump some heavy rain over the next few hours, but the big storm system is still spinning off to the west in Nevada and Utah. It's pumping in tons of moisture though, and it's going to be slowly pushing to the east as we head into your Monday, and that will trigger a better shot for storms in central and eastern New Mexico, and some of those storms could be on the strong to severe side, so we do have a slight risk for severe thunderstorms, especially in northeast northeastern New Mexico around Raton down to Las Vegas and Santa Rosa. We are seeing the orange. That's where we could have large hail tomorrow and strong gusty winds. It looks like timing everything out. The best shot for storms will be between lunchtime and the drive home from work on your Monday. So timing everything out beginning tonight. A slight chance for a few spotty showers around the northern mountains into southern Colorado. Then outside of that, we'll clear our skies out a little bit. Seeing some morning fog first thing tomorrow along the central mountain chain and also around the four corners. Then take a look at what happens around lunchtime on your Monday. Seeing a pretty good chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms between Santa Fe, Albuquerque down to Socorro. And some of those could be on the strong to severe side. They'll continue to push off to the east northeast tomorrow around the northern mountains into places like Raton and Las Vegas. So again, we'll have to watch out for that chance for some severe thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. So here's the extended forecast for Durango, Pagosa Springs and Cortez. Tonight temperatures falling back into the 30s and the 40s, rebounding into the upper 50s and the lower 60s. We could have some fog first thing on your Monday morning, then a chance for a few storms tomorrow afternoon. Then we start to dry things out for Tuesday and into the end of the week. Over to the four corners, temperatures into the upper 60s in Gallup and Grand 69 in Farmington with some morning fog and then a chance for a few isolated storms tomorrow. Most of the action will be farther to your east for tomorrow afternoon. And then into the southwest, temperatures into the 70s and the 80s in Tier C and Deming 78 in Silver City, 74 in Glenwood with the chance for some scattered storms. Then once we get through tomorrow, you can see just a stretch of sunny skies ahead for Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and temperatures not too bad back into the upper 70s into Roswell and Carlsbad, the 70s and the 80s with a pretty good shot for some storms for tomorrow, a slight chance for a leftover storm on Tuesday. Then after that, temperatures falling back into the upper 70s by Thursday and Friday. Another cold front is going to move in by the end of the week, so that will send your temperatures from the 80s back into the 70s by next weekend and to the northeast temperatures into the 70s and the 60s with some morning fog then a chance for afternoon and evening storms again some of them could be on the strong side then over to the northern mountains temperatures into the 60s and the 70s with a chance for hit or miss storms and then we clear things out for Wednesday and Thursday and then into the east mountains temperatures into the lower 70s after starting out in the 50s we could have some morning fog here as well kind of like this morning and then in the metro temperatures topping out in the middle 70s which is pretty typical for this time of the year and then we can see plenty of sunshine for the week ahead and temperatures holding steady middle to upper 70s. So it looks like our best chance for rain will be tomorrow. Wow, 79 next Sunday. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's going to feel like fall as we head into October already. Oh. All right. Thanks so much, Chris. Here's Jim.